welcome back. Today, we're gonna to stop talk about step 21 in our 28 point furnace tune up and inspection. Step 21 is an inducer motor operations check and cleaning. So some furnaces come with a plastic inducer, some furnaces come with a metal inducer. Metal inducers are always better because plastic, as I'll show you, is, can be very weak. So when we check inside these, we want to see this wheel. This wheel is very similar to the blower motor and the wheel that's inside there that moves the air. And if you can remember, 1 16th of an inch of debris cancels out 20% of your airflow. And the same thing inside here. These little louvers get backed up with that white ash and they start to inside this inducer, this little wheel is louvered and it needs to pull the air. Much like the blower motor you have inside here with its wheel, it's moving the air through the home. This is moving all the exhaust fumes through the heat exchanger and out the flue pipe. So if we clog up these louvers, we're moving 20% less air. So when we do your maintenance, we're gonna pull this inducer off. We're gonna get inside here, clean all this stuff up, get all this white ash out of here, and we're gonna inspect the housing. So if you notice, this one's plastic, this one's split. That's not good because the exhaust fumes are no longer contained inside the equipment. The furnace that this was attached to had poor airflow and the furnace kept overheating and tripping the high fire safety limit. And then, because everything was coming out too hot, decided to split this inducer motor open. That's why a metal one is always gonna be better because it can't split like this. We stress maintenance so much. Inside your equipment, this inducer still ran. It still worked, even though it was split like this. When you look at your equipment, you're never gonna see it because there's a panel right here and it still turns on. Just because it turns on and works doesn't mean it's working right. Maintenance is important. Catching something like this before it happens, we could have saved the equipment, cost the homeowner way less money in repairs to repair all this stuff. So please get your maintenance done on an annual basis as recommended by all your manufacturers. See you on the next video.